That's right. MB and Micah, the LAPD says the cases of these two dead models appear to be unrelated, but their families don't know what to think. As you said, tonight we are hearing from another young model who is living in fear. 26-year-old Brittany Mason is a successful model working in the fashion and beauty industries. She lives at Sky at Bunker Hill Luxury Apartments on Figueroa Street in downtown Los Angeles. There's quite a few models living here in the building. She says she's seen people staying in the stairwells and blankets in the stairwells. And there's more. Initially, the unit across from me, people were subleasing it. So I was seeing different people coming in and out every day. And the other thing was, um, at one point, people were having like big parties of tons of men coming through there. So. So she doesn't feel safe, especially since another tenant at the complex, model and real estate agent Melissa Mooney, was discovered dead in her apartment on September 12th. Police are investigating her death as a homicide, but are not releasing any details. Brittany Mason says information from building management has been sparse or non-existent, and she wants to leave. Honestly, I just said don't feel safe, and I think I shouldn't be forced to live here if I don't feel safe. Brittany says management won't let her out of her lease, which has several months to go, without a penalty fee. Apparently, she's not alone. You know, I don't think that's okay. As young women like Brittany Mason are figuring out their next steps, the families of Melissa Mooney and also Nikki Coates, the other young model whose father and aunt discovered her lifeless body in bed in her luxury apartment in downtown Los Angeles, are desperate for answers. Both women were found days apart and only blocks apart. However, the LAPD has said there is no evidence thus far to suggest the cases are related. At this point, I just want some answers as to why my daughter died. I'm not really getting any help from the detective, LAPD. Um, the medical examiner told me that she could have just went to, to sleep, you know, died in her sleep. This, this cannot be another John Doe cold case, nothing. We have to find whoever did this. We did reach out to management at the Sky at Bunker Hill Apartments and we're told we could expect a response in 48 hours. Also, a GoFundMe account has been set up to help pay funeral expenses for Melissa Mooney. And you can find that link on our website, ktla.com. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.